Hi, everybody, and welcome back. This is David Robertson from the Financial Center, coming to you once again for one of our occasional chats. Uh, this time, I want to talk about what happens after you've been retired for 10, 15 years. You've done many of the things that you wanted to do, uh, played all that golf, uh, taken those trips, uh, had all those experiences that we've planned for. And now, every day when you, you get up, it takes a little bit longer to get up in the morning and it takes a little bit longer to put your shoes and socks on. And you got maybe another ache and pain that you didn't know that you had before. Uh, what's next? What happens? Well, that's the term that, that we call slowing down in, the, in retirement. And that's inevitable for all of us. What do you do? First thing that you should do is uh, today, make sure that you're getting all your exercise, uh, getting your, your or eating right, getting your oat bran, uh, getting good meals uh, so that you can push that day off as long as possible because it's inevitable for all of us. And we talk about it when we do your annual review and retirement plans that that day is going to come. So what do we do now? Well, uh, a first thing you need to, or the second thing you need to do is uh, take a look at your estate plans, wills, trusts, powers of attorney. Who is your trustee? Does your trustee know what is going to be asked of them as being a trustee? The trustee is one of your children. You need to talk to those kids, explain to them what that job is. It's not fun. It's work to be a trustee. Um, it's not a glamour job at all. And uh, they need to know that going in. Uh, if something happens and you uh, uh, whack your head and uh, become comatose, uh, do you have all the documents? Who's your patient advocate? Who can make those decisions for you? Uh, it's estimated that about 50% uh, of it, all individuals over age 65 are gonna spend some time in some kind of nursing facility. Uh, many of those facilities are, are great. Um, you can also get uh, home health care, uh, a caregiver. Who's going to be your caregiver? Will that be a family member? Will that be somebody that you're going to hire out? Um, assisted living. Those assisted living uh, places that we see popping up everywhere. Uh, is that an option? Well, maybe, maybe not. If you don't have children, if you don't have a spouse there to help out, those assisted living places might be a great place to go. Uh, it's not the, the place where you, you end and say, this is it, so I've thrown in the towel. No, uh, they're vibrant, uh, lots of, of activities and things to do. And that's something that you should explore before you need that, not after. So, Couple thoughts of mine are, uh, yeah, those are things that you need to, to take a look at as ultimately we all begin to slow down. Um, as always, we're here to, to help you to make not just uh, good financial choices, but also to help you to make good life choices. So uh, if you need us, you know we're here, please give us a call and uh, I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye now.